Hey guys, I'm here to talk to you about Jedi Battle Scars. So, I know a lot of you guys played the game Jedi Fallen Order, right? It was an amazing game, and you had your main characters, right? You got Cal Kestis, oh, you got Seer over here, um, Marin, and I actually forget this guy's name, the forearm guy, but... Uh, Overall, that game was awesome, and the next game, Jedi Survivor, is coming out April 28th, so that's like 19 days away, and so I wanted to know what happened between Jedi Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor, and that's exactly what this book talks about. So if you are a fan of the series and you're planning to play the new game, you should definitely check this book out. It'll give you a, a deep understanding of kind of the, the five years between the games, what they've been up to. Let me read you what it says. So, Cal Kestis has built a new life for himself with the crew of the Stinger Mantis. Together, Cal's crew has brought down bounty hunters, defeated Inquisitors, and even evaded Darth Vader himself. More important, Marin. Seer, Grease, and faithful droid BD-1 are the closest thing Cal has to a family since the fall of the Jedi Order. Even the galaxy's future grows more uncertain by the day. With each blow struck against the Empire, the Mantis crew grows more daring. On what should be a routine mission, they meet a stormtrooper determined to chart her own course with the help of Cal and his crew. In exchange for help starting a new life, the Imperial Deserter brings word of a powerful, potentially invaluable tool for the fight against the Empire. And even better, she can help them get to it. The only catch, pursuing it will bring them into the path of one of the Empire's most dangerous servants, the Inquisitor known as the Fifth Brother. Can their Imperial deserter truly be trusted? And while Cal and his friends have survived run-ins with the Inquisitors before, how many times can they ev ev evade the Empire before their luck runs out? It's kind of hard to read out loud. Yeah, so that guy with the uh, forearms, his name's Grease. Grease. I don't know why I forgot that. But yeah, definitely check this out. Uh, it's only 280 pages long, uh, so it shouldn't take you too long to get through it. But it definitely, uh, yeah, definitely, I, I think brings the series together. Uh, so remember, like and subscribe. I am Guy with a book review. Thanks so much.